The team at Santa Monica Studio put a lot of work into just like creating this, this sort of Norse world of God of War. And, you know, that extends to the trolls themselves. They have a unique language that they speak amongst each other. So there's actually, this, this, this big fella is actually saying something. I don't know what, but uh, I'm assuming it's like, get out of my way, pesky insect. Hey guys, you got Sid here as well as Justin and Kristen. We're taking an exclusive look at God of War. This is footage you will not see anywhere else. Oof. And, this, and this is a troll you won't see in any of the other footage out there either. Uh, that is a nasty looking fellow. These trolls. Goodness. Yeah, look at this thing. These trolls are, are actually unique. They're, they're named mm -hmm. characters in the game's lore. Oh. Tell, tell each, us a little bit. Each one is different. Each one has a completely different backstory. You know, as with Norse mythology, everything here sort of has a little bit of a story, a little bit of a narrative to it. So each of these guys, they're going to be, they're going to look a little different. They're going to fight a little different. The way you want to go up against them, you might want to think about it differently. Um, <laughs> yeah, this guy looks Just a lot meaner. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a lot more aggressive than the other enemies that we've seen. No, interesting fact, too. I mean, the, the team at Santa Monica Studio put a lot of work into just, like, creating this this sort of Norse world of God of War. And, you know, that extends to the trolls themselves. They have a unique language that they speak amongst each other. So there's actually, this this, this big fella is actually saying something. I don't know what, but uh, I'm assuming it's like, get out of my way, pesky insect. But uh. <laughs> they, they got a bit of a chip on their shoulder because I think part of the backstory is that they've been betrayed by the gods. You know, and they have all these different cities and villages. And I'd be mad too. They, you know, <laughs> they're down to fight. Boy, this game just looks so good. Oh, oh some cool. friendly pu- Oh, oh. no, no, <laughs> never mind. You know, you're seeing just a different side of God of War with this game, that camera. Um, the glowing I, eyes are an interesting touch. Though. Yeah. Th this camera, I think, is, is worthy of, of discussion because, I mean, this is a- It's seamless. It's like a one-cut game. They mm -hmm. don't, like, cut to cinematics or cut to another character. Exactly. Yeah, and even the camera angle, it's a lot closer to Kratos, a uh, more intimate camera there. Yeah, a lot more intimate. It really makes you feel like you're, you're there, you know? Yeah, especially during combat, you sort of feel the impact of every hit. It sort of shakes just a little bit. It makes no it feel like you really it. are Kratos. We can. And a sort of robust loot system here, too. Something we really haven't seen necessarily in God of War to date. So it's just a different take on, on and, a, and a really fresh and exciting take on, on, a, on a classic PlayStation IP. Uh, we're seeing some light puzzle elements, it mm -hmm. looks like, here. Nice. Notably, you don't have to mash the button to open chests mm -hmm. anymore. And there's a lot of different kinds of chests. The mm -hmm. animations are always different. Ooh, a purple thing. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a way to enhance your health. Nice. Uh, so oh, cool. I think so the more of those puzzles that you find, they're sort of higher level uh, loot that you're going to find in those, gotcha. those room gotcha. chests. Never leave me alone again. Yeah, these environments, look at this environment. I mean, just so detailed. So this this tickled me too. Um, you know, this is a, a new look at God of War, and and huh. the climbing is something that I always associated with God of War. You remember those epic climbing sequences? Oh yeah, sequences? yeah, yeah. So Corey Barlog, sort of a veteran on the series, he worked on the original. He was creative director on the second game, and he's a creative director on this title as well. And he's riddled this game with just references, homages, clues for for fans. I also just love these these quiet moments though with Atreus that as you're as you're moving through the world he's constantly you know commenting it with fresh eyes. Um, I just love the relationship between Atreus and Kratos. You really see it develop just right away from the beginning. It just dives right in. Yeah, and it's it's definitely going to be I think the centerpiece of the game. It's pretty clear. It's got a lot of a lot of power to it emotionally. Like mm -hmm. Kratos is this sort of troubled character. You know, yeah. if you played these other games, he's in a different place in his life. He's got a lot of responsibility in a way that he maybe hasn't had in the past. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, he has to struggle to like keep his temper, something he's not maybe uh, known for exactly. <laughs> so, uh, really, really interested to see where they go with that in this game. Yeah, it's interesting. It feels a lot more open, a lot more uh, kind of catered to uh, taking your time and exploring. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, kind of punctuated by the fast action sequences. Has this yeah. been here all this time? Just beautiful. Why don't you hold me up there? Oh, here we, we have, uh, you know, this this mm -hmm. Leviathan axe. Uh, this is uh, the, the Kratos' oh. new weapon of choice. Uh, and has a lot of impact in combat, but it also has some properties that sort of lend themselves to puzzle solving as well. Wait for me, boy. This fog is gorgeous. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah, some yeah. crazy looking fog there. Atreus! 
Well, hope you liked our exclusive sneak peek here at God of War. This is footage you won't see anywhere else, and we are all dying to play it when it launches on PS4 April 20th. See you next time.